Hello kids, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see seventh class science, sixth lesson, weather and climate. Question answers. Let's start. Improve your learning. First question. What aspects should you observe to know and predict the weather of your village? Answer. We should observe humidity changes wind changes, the sunrise and sunset times changes to predict the weather of the village. Second question, read a newspaper, collect the weather reports in it, write about the various elements of the weather mentioned in the report. Answer, the student is advised to read a newspaper and collect the weather reports in it. Various elements of the weather mentioned in the report about rain in centimeters of rainfall, thunder showers, dry weather, sky cloudy, maximum temperature recorded on the day, minimum temperature recorded. Okay, this you try to do yourself and report these uh, various factors, various elements, okay? Third one, where is the meteorological department in your area? How is it useful to you? Meteorological department is located at district headquarters. It collects data of temperature, rainfall and other climatic factors. It warns entire public from floods, rains, cyclones, etc. It continues the study and analysis of rainfall, cyclones and tsunamis, etc. Okay, next question. Fourth one. If it is hot and sweaty at a place, what could be the possible reasons for that? Answer. The place is situated at the equatorial region is hot. The places near a river or in coastal regions, the weather in summer is sweaty. Okay. Next fifth one. Right, true or false, give reasons. Minimum temperature is recorded in early mornings. Why minimum temperature is recorded? In early mornings is it true or false is it true okay generally in the morning time the Sun radiation is less okay so the Sun will be rising at that time only so the temperature will be little bit cooler compared to the afternoon okay so temperature is less in the early morning okay next second one the direction and speed of the wind is found by an anemometer. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Okay, the direction and speed of the wind is found by an anemometer. It's an instrument to hmm, find the direction and the speed of the wind. Okay. In summer, the winds blow towards the earth from the seas or ocean in the afternoon yes it is true the direction of the winds will be from sea to the earth okay towards earth you'll be getting the winds so this statement is true okay next fourth one d bit maximum temperature is recorded in the month of july this is a false statement why it is false hmm? In our state, the maximum temperature is recorded in the month of May. Monsoons enter, enters in the month of June itself. And temperature gradually falls to normal day temperature. Okay, here in mid-May, in May month, we will be having the most summer. Highest temperature will be in the May month. Okay. And in the June, what happens? The temperature gets slowly decreased and we will be getting the rainy season. Okay, so rainy season means temperature will be 
low. So, in the May month, it is very hot. So, that is the temperature where we get the highest temperature. Okay, in May month, we will be getting highest temperature. So, this statement is false because in July, we will be having rains. The temperature will be less comparatively to May. Okay. Next one. Observe the graph showing rainfall of a place from August to December. Write down the observations from it and what interference sorry what inference can you draw? Answer see see the graph first. Okay, graph you can see different months August, September, October, November, December. So this is nothing but the rainfall graph in mm that is millimeter okay so you have to observe it and you have to conclude okay what you observed in this you have to write the points okay answer there are there was more rainfall in november and december months so here you can observe that in november and december the rainfall is more the rainfall in august september and october months is relatively less so when you compare November and December, August, September, October, these rainfall is, in that month's rainfall is less. Okay, in these two months rainfall is more and whereas in these three months rainfall is less. So when you compare to November and December, rainfall in August, September, October is less, relatively less. Okay, from the graph one feels that the rainy season is shifted to November and December months. Yes, since here we can see rainfall is more in November and December. So, we can feel that the rainy season is November and December. Okay, generally rainy season will be here. But what happens? What happened in the graph? You can see rainfall is more in November and December. So, we feel that November and December is the rainy season. Okay, so these are the points we draw from the graph. Okay, we conclude, we, we can observe from the graph. Okay. Let us see the next question. Seventh one. Why do people need to need and observe weather? People need to observe weather for many reasons. If the weather forecast expects a cyclone, immediately disaster management must be taken up. Due to cyclone, the sea water enters the low lying coastal areas, causing severe loss of life and property people should make necessary arrangements to shift the household goods domestic animals and vehicles etc to safer places farmers take necessary steps in the cultivation process knowing the weather condition in advance so if we know the weather condition in advance we can take any action immediate action okay if cyclone is, is occurring what we have to do? We can shift the place. We can shift to other place. We can take our uh, household items, domestic animals, vehicles, whatever important things we have. We can shift to other places, safer places. Okay. And uh, farmers also, they can take necessary steps for cultivation. Okay. So, they can process it sooner or something, whatever it may be. So, they can do it faster. They can keep in safer places. Okay. They should they can shift to safer places okay so that's why weather forecast is very much needed for us okay if we know before only we can take necessary action for that okay eighth one explain these symbols used in a weather forecast report so you can see here some symbols are given so in weather forecast report what these symbols represent we have to tell okay the first one you can see the sun is very bright so this symbol indicates sunny weather second one sunny weather but having clouds so sunny weather with clouds in the sky third one the sky is cloudy fourth one it indicates rainfall fifth one it indicates heavy rainfall okay next is sixth one Sky is cloudy with thunders. You can see the symbol, symbol of thunders. Okay. Sky is cloudy with thunders. So, these are the symbols for weather forecast. Next one. 
ninth one collect the weather reports from the newspapers and make a pro profile of the weather in a city so this you have to do by yourself okay you collect the reports from the newspaper and make the profile okay next tenth one every year we have floods in the rainy season why answer in certain areas during rainy season also the tanks and canals remain dry the dried canals and tanks are used for other purposes in such areas when it rains heavily there is no way to drain out the water as a result many areas were flooded and submerged next one 11th observe your surroundings and try to predict how tomorrow would be answer the surroundings are slowly becoming concrete jungles the trees appear no more and many acres of cultivation land is converted into house flats trees are oxygen factors they give us good rainfall and keep the temperature of the globe under control the population in the atmosphere is causing a rise in the temperature of the atmosphere water food and other basic things may become a problem tomorrow 12th one priya's mother said it is very hard to stay at ramagundam during summer why did she say so answer ramagundam is situated in a dry inland climatic conditions area the summer season is extremely hot in this city the highest recorded temperature in this area is around 47 degrees celsius ramagundam's humidity is around 50% so it is very hard to stay at ramagundam during summer next study in one collect different newspapers and compare the weather reports are they same or not why the student can collect newspapers and compare the weather reports the reports are found to differ slightly as there is global warming there is a change in weather and is the reason for the slight variations in the weather reports next 14th one observe your surroundings immediately after rain express your feeling in the form of a song rain brings a lot of happiness and pleasant atmosphere the temperature of the weather suitably falls down and is quite comfortable to everyone each student reacts in his own way to this new atmosphere so the song is the choice of the student and the student can express the feelings in the form of a song so this song you have to write on in your own words or you can try to copy from google or something whatever you want but try to write on your own it will be nice okay whatever you feel about that you write in your own words okay next 15th one prepare some questions to conduct a quiz program in your class on this chapter here we are suggesting some questions but prepare yourself here only few questions we are giving okay what kind of information does daily weather report carry what is weather what are its elements what is the difference between weather and climate what is the main cause of changes in weather how can we predict weather the, like that you can add some more questions okay so i have given some questions okay by this uh, we completed this lesson question answers in the next video we'll see the next lesson that is the seventh lesson okay bye kids have a nice day